of the UN institution. It's the, the theater of the absurd. It doesn't only cast Israel as the villain. It often casts real villains in leading roles. Gaddafi's Libya chaired the UN Commission on Human Rights. Saddam's Iraq headed the UN Committee on Disarmament. You might say that's the past. Well, here's what's happening now, right now, today. Hezbollah-controlled Lebanon now presides over the UN Security Council. This means, in effect, that a terror organization presides over the body entrusted with guaranteeing the world's security. You couldn't make this thing up. So here in the UN, automatic majorities can decide anything. They can decide that the sun sets in the West or rises in the West. I, I think the first has already been preordained. They can also decide, they have decided, that the Western Wall in Jerusalem, Judaism's holiest place, is occupied Palestinian territory. And yet, even here, in the General Assembly, the truth can sometimes break through. In 1984, when I was appointed Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, I visited the great rabbi of Lubavitch. He said to me, and ladies and gentlemen, I don't want any of you to be offended because from personal experience of serving here, I know there are many honorable men and women, many capable and decent people serving their nations here. But here's what the Rebbe said to me. He said to me, you'll be serving in a house of many lies. And then he said, remember, that even in the darkest place, the light of a single candle can be seen far and wide. Today I hope that the light of truth will shine, if only for a few minutes, in a hall that for too long has been a place of darkness for my country. So as Israel's Prime Minister, I didn't come here to win applause. I came here to speak the truth. The truth is, the truth is that Israel wants peace. The truth is that I want peace. The truth is that in the Middle East, at all times, but especially during these turbulent days, peace must be anchored in security. The truth is that we cannot achieve peace through UN resolutions, but only through direct negotiations between the parties. The truth is that so far the Palestinians have refused to negotiate. The truth is that Israel wants peace with the Palestinian state, but the Palestinians want, want a state without peace. And the truth is, you shouldn't let that happen. 